मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी स्टार्ट विद न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर फोर वर्किंग विद पेंट ओके दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर फॉर यू बिकॉज दिस इज अ प्रैक्टिकल एक्सरसाइज फॉर यू इन पेंट ओके इन अर्लियर क्लासेस यू हैव फैमिली विद एम एस पेंट एंड दे विंडो एंड डिफरेंट रूल्स ऑफ एम एस पेंट Okay, in this lesson we will revise the tools and how to make beautiful drawings. We will learn. So you have to do practical practice also at your home. So open your book, page number thirty-four, and start reading with me. Microsoft Paint, called MS Paint, is a simple graphic. program to draw pictures on the screen and paint them with different colors okay it's a graphic program in this we can draw and paint different shapes different types of the images so we can use Paint for creating, editing, and printing pictures. With this program, we can draw different objects like pictures, cartoons, maps. Okay, we can also use paint to view and edit scanned pictures. Also, first we will learn about how to open paint. For this, you have to click on Start button. Choose All Programs, then Accessories, then click on Paint Program. Now there is one effect file for you. Dragging the paint icon to the desktop will create a shortcut to open paint. Next is using tools. Amos Paint has different types of tools. We can work in paint with the help of these tools present in the shapes and tool groups. To select any shape, move the mouse pointer to the tool shape group and then click on. Once the tool is selected, move the mouse pointer to the drawing area. The pointer changes into cross symbols. Hold down the left mouse button and drag it to the direction where you want to draw. First, if using oval shape tool, you can see this is your ribbon. In ribbon, we have different types of tools. First, you have to select the shape group. and you can see different shapes are here okay first you have to select this oval tool you can see this is the oval tool in the shape group then set the color one yellow and color two for red okay color one is a foreground color and color two is the background then click on outline to change the line style you can see And click on the size to choose the line size thickness. Okay, very thin line you want to draw, a very thick line you want to draw. You can select any size of line. Then move the pointer to the drawing area and drag the pointer to draw the given oval figure. You can see to fill color in this figure, select color two, then click fill with color two and right click on the circle. Okay, next tool is now. Next tool is color picker tool. Okay, what is the use of this tool? It is this tool is very useful tool to select a color from an existing object and filling it into any other object. Okay, suppose you have drawn one figure, one object, and you have given them that color red, green. Okay, and you want to fill that same color in in another object. so you can pick color from that object and you can fill to the another let us learn how to use it first draw any object as shown in the given figure select any shape like rectangle we have drawn and one circle we have drawn so color the rectangle using fill with color tool this is the fill with color tool take any color okay suppose we have okay select the Suppose we have done the red color, then select the color picker tool. This is the 
the color picker tool. Then click inside after filling the color. Then select color picker tool and click inside the rectangle to copy the color. Okay. Now move the mouse pointer and click inside the circle to fill the same color in. So you can see both the objects have same color. So once the drawing is made, you can make some changes in it such as copying, and deleting, moving, etc. Okay, these options are available on the home tab. Now there is one let's move move with edit colors to pick a new color. Mixing colors in MS Paint. Let you choose the exact color that you want to use. In MS Paint, you can choose, you can have different types of color. And in edit box, we have more and more colors that you can, we can mix two or three colors and we can make our new color also. Now there is another let's move eraser tool is used to erase a part of a drawing. It replaces the eraser part with the background color. Now next tool is using select tool. What is the use of select tool? It is used to select any part of the picture that you want. First draw the Mickey Mouse figure like this then click on rectangle selection tool. You can see here there are two selection tools are here, rectangle selection tool and freeform selection tool. The first is rectangle selection tool. To select the object, first place the mouse pointer just outside the area to be selected. Okay. Then click and hold down the left mouse button and drag around the outer boundary of the object. Like this. Then release the mouse button and when it is completely selected, Which group do you use to select any shape? Next tool is free form selection tool. It is used to select any irregularly shaped part of the picture. We can even drag the selected portion and place it on another location. Right select free form selection tool. Place the pointer on the drawing area like this and select the object nose the Mickey Mouse by holding down the left mouse button. Now moving the mouse pointer around the outer boundary of the object. You can see then release the mouse button after selecting the object. Now you can see we have cut nose of the Mickey Mouse. Then release the mouse button after selecting the object nose. Then drag the nose towards the left as shown in the figure. Now click on undo button and observe the changes. Now let's discuss select tool and the free form selection tool. We have discussed. Now moving an object. How can we move any object? Moving means we are placing object from one place to another. First draw the picture of the car on a new file and save it with the name car. Okay like this. In the file menu then we want save button type the file name and click on the save option then select the drawing or any part of the drawing with the help of select tool this is the select tool we have selected that selection tool select single with dash lines will appear around the picture as shown in the figure you can see and then click on the cut option the clipboard group on home tab Observe that the selected picture will be removed from the screen. You can see it will disappear. If like this, we can cut the picture. Now, using paste option, click on paste option. Then there are two options are coming. Then click on paste. Now, the object that you have cut will reappear on the top, top left corner of the box. So place the mouse pointer on it and drag it to the desired location and remove the box. This way we can move the picture. Moving means cut and paste the picture. Okay, cutting and pasting. With the cutting and pasting, we are moving the picture. Now there is tip for you. The selection box can be removed by clicking outside the selected area. Now next, copying an object means we are making copy many copies of this object one and more copies of this picture 
copy command is to make a duplicate copy of an object. First you have to select the drawing, you select tool, then copy command on the home tab, click on copy command, then click on paste command in the clipboard group on home tab. Duplicate copy of the object appears on the top left corner of the drawing. And you can move the picture on any location. You can see it. Now there is one left no more to reverse. The last action that you have performed, undo command or control Z is used. And for redo command, it is reverse the effect of undo command. For this, we can use control plus Y. There is another like note to clear all the objects from the drawing area. Click on select, then select all and delete option. With this, remove. We can remove all the selected drawings. So, this is now we have done page number 34, 35 and 36 and 37. Okay. Now next topic we will do in the next class drawing different shapes. First you have to do practical practice of the these tools. Color picker tool, oval shape tool, okay. select tool, how can you select the objects in two ways, moving an object, cut, copy and paste. Okay. After that, we will do the next topic. Now, I will give you homework for today.